Everybody is a little bit shocked at how bad Leon are this season. So my dad took it upon himself to do a five year rebuild with them on Football Manager. However, again, this is one of his first rebuilds without me guiding him through it and telling him not to do stupid stuff. Enjoy. Dad, if Leon aren't careful, they could get relegated this season. They are in a lot of trouble. Well, when I've done this video, which is probably about a month ago as well, they were bottom of the league. Yeah. Really, really struggling. Selfishly a little bit. Which is the reason why I took, I, I decided to do a rebuild with them. Yeah. It? it was an obvious thing because I'm trying to do a team from each country. And I, so this is my France team that I was going to do. And it was an obvious reason why I took this team over, I think. Yeah. Because they were struggling, really. Yeah. So let's see what he did in this first season. Now they have on the outs 80 million pound in total, but this is obviously so, all players before you. Yeah. Had, so this uh, is obviously joined. why they are struggling. They are struggling. Because they've just probably sold all their best players. Yeah. They, they, they're uh, Bracola here, which is what PSG fans are suggesting could be like the next big thing for them yeah. in real life. Apparently he is amazing. Now, not that much on the game, but in real life he looks incredible. And Castello Lukaba to Leipzig for £25 million. That's the catalyst for me because he is amazing yeah. on this game as well. And he's yeah. very good in real life and doing quite well at Leipzig. So that's where they're struggling, yeah. unfortunately. And there's a lot of players that have gone out. Now, you've only sold one player there for £1.5 billion and maybe a second one there for one4 by the looks of the dates. That man there, 19-year-old El Arouk, who is a centre midfielder, which does surprise me that you decided to sell yeah. a young player like that for such little cost, knowing that you probably won't be able to gain much from it. No, I think I'm just trying to get myself a bit of money. So we need to remember that this is very early on in when Dab was doing rebuilds. So he's got a lot better since. You might have seen a couple of the videos since and go, <laughs> you're joking, and you look. <laughs> if you've seen the Norwich one, you know I can only get better. Yeah, <laughs> the Norwich <laughs> one was before the Leon one. The Leon one was after that. Since then, I think there was Hearts, Real Zaragoza, <laughs> maybe Palmer. So if you've watched the Palmer one and then you're going to Leon, you'd have been like, you're telling me this was before Palmer. <laughs> yes. 100% it was. Right. So we need to not question what happens, but just on the results. David De Gea. Well, you know what I'm like with the cookie bridge, but he was a freebie and I thought, well, you'd be silly not to take this guy. I'm surprised that nobody's come in for him in real life yet. Yeah, definitely. I mean, as we're recording this, nobody's yeah. come in. He could have already gone to somebody by the time you're watching this. Maybe he's gone to Newcastle because of the Nick yeah, Pope they are, injury. Yeah, sniffing around him, they? Yeah, the one, but... really surprised nobody's come in for David De Gea. Imagine there we his go. wages, isn't it? Yeah. Xhaka, another free sign in there. Uh, centre midfield, 28 yeah. years of age. Not a bad player, to be no. fair. Good player to bring in on a free. Then you signed Delinga, who is one of my old favourites from the Youth to Gold series with Toulouse. £4.4 million. Good yeah. striker. Dutch, youngster. Not well, amazing, he's, he's but he's good 14. on... That's really yeah, good. He's actually so, quite good in the match. And his physicals engine. are very consistent, aren't they? Yes, it, yeah. I mean, we always look very at well anything above 13 above, we, we sort of like, yeah, he's good. Yeah, he's very well-rounded, to yeah. be fair. Uh, Hugo Ekatike on a loan. Oh, I've missed one out there. We'll go back to him. Hugo Ekatike on a loan is a good signing. Youngster, French. In, yeah. Yeah, something to prove about it. Can play on the wing if need be. Miki Yamine is a Kawasaki player. So Japanese, 29 years of age. Plays right back, plays centre back. This is a good little pickup. as like yeah. a bargain I mean, he's pick good up. on both feet as well. So yeah. I was quite, and he's quick. So I was quite happy with that one. So 1.2 million pounds. For anybody who's looking for that type of player, yeah. that's a steal. That's yeah. a really good bargain pickup there. Then, now you had a story about these two, Dad. These two signings here. Yeah. Um, I had a couple of injuries um, <laughs> come in. I just needed the strength of my defence. And when the injuries came in, I thought... Right, I've got to get centre defenders in to help me out. These two guys were the only, the best I could get at the time, but they were a little bit old. So they were for a season. <laughs> One season only, I think. By their age, I think they were going to retire the following age, yeah. following season anyway. Here's the first one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of 15s. But. Well, I mean, I mean he is, he's quite good in the positions where I needed it to be good. He looks shocked to be here as well. Yeah, I think he was, yeah. I, mean, like, he, I can't believe they signed me. He's not very quick, neither is he. So. He somehow played for Spain. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, he's up Bill Bow for a while. That's probably when he played for Spain. And then finally, Miguel Victor, 500k. And he's 34, yeah. Yeah. I so, mean, he's all right, actually. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they're both very slow, so I just said to him, just stay in your position. Just don't go yeah. wandering. Doesn't dive into tackles. <laughs> yeah. Just see how that goes. All right, okay. So that's that's the, the signings that he's made at the start of this window. Tactically, let's have a look. Okay. Yeah, I went one up front. So this I was... Thought, a... I got those two strikers in, and I didn't even put them up front. I know. <laughs> <laughs> what is that about? This league, you're chasing one team. Yeah. So my goal is to get as close as I can to PSG by the end of the five seasons. I'm struggling already this season. We've got a very poor team, I feel. So I thought, right, park the bus the first season, make yourself very, very hard to beat, 
and then try and pick up from next season onwards. Okay. So that's what I've tried to do here. I wouldn't do that now. No. But at that particular time, that's what in my head was defend by all means and then we'll build from then. Yeah. <laughs> I've, re- do I've really... I've really... I know. I'm on attack again. <laughs> <laughs> it's the one thing that I really enjoy about your rumours because it's the one position that I've just never really liked using. <laughs> never really liked it. And for some fair. reason, I loved using it. And you use it all <laughs> the time and even more than once in the same tactic and it's hilarious. Two advanced playmakers, both on attack. No supporting roles whatsoever. You either attack or you defend yep. or you get out. Yeah. Oh, I'd love it. It's so funny. So Balde is actually classed as your... Pressing forward, starting striker. He's okay. He's he's all right. You got Ryan Cherky, who is your best player. Can I mean, get I've, into I've the got team. Legazette there as well. So I've got some good strikers in there. But it's... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this would be the guy that you should be trying to build your team around. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. If I was to give anybody tips on doing a Leon rebuild, it will be build your team around this guy. And make sure this guy is in your starting eleven. It's not. No. Uh, and that might be a trouble. You got a good left side with Taglafico. He's a very good wing back. A little bit on the uh, the older age now, 31. And he's not that fast, but he's very good going forward and great tackling ability, like defending ability. Aggression 19, I love that. Yeah, he's Argentinian. What yeah, do you expect? Yeah, he's fine, isn't he? This is going to be all a about all one. about surviving. Because in my head, really, this team are doing really poorly. Yeah. In real life, they are. So in my head, that's it. I've got to I've got to survive this season. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to have a look at instructions as well. There's something I haven't had a check, had a check yet. Uh, quite standard instructions. You don't venture off too much with the instructions. No. I've seen it's just your, the positions and uh, <laughs> the player roles is always wild. Schedule, how have you been getting on? So lost the first game of season against yeah. Strasbourg. A big win there against Montpellier. I think when I lost the three games, I think that's when I got me, me the old guys in to try and, try and survive. Yeah. Oh, those are only friendlies, don't get. Oh, yeah. A draw against Nice and then a huge win. That was a beauty, innit? Yeah. Two late goals as well. 83rd and 89th minute. Very good indeed. Yeah. Very good. Not actually a bad start. You're in third in the, in the league, which is you're only behind PSG and Strasbourg. So and you're on the same points as Strasbourg. So you've already defeated the undefeatable. Yeah. Which is, oh, I'm pleased really because I think to myself, really, any team that takes any points on is going to help myself or someone else to try and get close to them. Yeah. So if I'm beating them and you just got up, then someone else can beat them. Yeah. Okay. I ask you this every time that you do a rebuild. What yeah. is the... I have one challenge to yeah. myself. Yeah. What, what would you class as your target for five years? To get as close to PSG as I possibly could. Okay. I mean, I'm looking at second. Yeah. I want to get to second. Because I just don't think I'm, I'm going to be anywhere near as good to, to, to beat them. They would have to have a real bad season. Yeah. And how often does that happen with PSG? Yeah. It doesn't, does it? So second is my goal. I'll settle for getting second at the fifth season. Okay. And Cups if I, if, in mind? I'd like to win something along the line, but I'm going to concentrate on the league to try and get the second. Yeah. If I can get the second as close as I can to PSG, I'll, I'll take it as a success. Okay. I always say with uh, any French team that you do outside of PSG, it's easier to win the Champions League than it is to win the French League. Yeah. I really do think that is the case. No, and as well, answer, if you do uh, the Spanish League outside of the two big guns as well, I yeah. think it's easier to win the Champions League. And my answer to that with, with PSG as well is, is easy, and it's, you'll always beat them in the Champions League because they'll never win the Champions League. Yeah. <laughs> They're cursed in that one, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, let's find out then. First season, how Dad does with this Leon sign. Okay, first season, fifth place. I was pleased with that. Yeah, I mean, the t- Nice won the league. I know. What was I saying? If I beat them and someone else beats them, they've they had a bad... didn't even win the league. That's so unbelievable. They've had a bad season. Because Nice only lost two games. Wow. They lost against. Oh, Strasbourg and Lorient. So they didn't lose against me or PSG. That's insane. I know. I don't think I've ever seen that in the first I season. I was gutted, really, because I, I, I could have done with that being... Later on. Two or three seasons later on. Yeah. yeah. With PSG losing three games. Unbelievable. And they lost against me twice, look. You're the reason. I'm the reason they didn't You're win the league. You're the reason why they didn't win the they league. They couldn't beat me with oh. that tactic. Yeah. <laughs> they they can handle me. the two advanced playmakers on attack, could they? They what mate? It's a hell of a tactic when you put that in, isn't it? Unbelievable. <laughs> I can't believe that. I can't believe Nice won the league. That's mental. Uh, Europa League football next season for Leon, yeah. which, of course, you didn't have anything no. this season. So that's a positive, a bonus. You drew 11 games, which is the reason oh, I would say is mate, obviously I'll... you're not any higher. 
Oh, um, just gutted. Every time I've seen a draw come on. So many off, one oh, ones. Not again, not yeah. again. And it was, you know, uh, and the one ones is the worst ones as well, and they really yeah. so. Five points behind the Champions League spots because there are four in this, which yeah. is quite interesting. Mbappe with the top scorer award, but Laborde got 25, and he is obviously going to be laughing all the way to lifting the League One trophy. Unbelievable. I can't believe that. Uh, you're in, of course, the French Cup. How did you get on? Quarter final by Lons in the Coupe de France. Yeah. Ryan Chuck. He did play a couple of games in there by the looks of it. So Lacazette got the most goals for you with 21 across the league. Lons went on and won it. They beat yeah. Rennes, thank God, because I don't like Rennes. Uh, that's my team that I hate in this division. So semi-final, Monaco was knocked out. Quarter-final, which is where you were eliminated. Let's see, the 11th round, PSG. They were eliminated by Lons, who went on and won the whole thing. They deserved it. And win, they yeah. definitely deserved it. Yeah. Absolutely. You got a good team, to be fair, in this. You got your work cut out for you already, because not only is PSG a monster, but it looks like Lons and Nice are now also monsters that you're going to have to try and defeat. Well, after those results, I ain't going to worry about PSG. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and nobody's. They can't handle the double advanced no. playmaker on attack. Very interesting stuff. Okay, so 22 goals from Lacazette, but that was the only player to get double figures yeah. for the goals this season. Season. Ryan Cherky there with 12 assists. That's not bad at all. He did play a lot. He needs to play a lot. Yeah. Because he is incredible. Transfer budget. Have they backed you for next season? £25 million. Pound. That's a yes. That's a yes. Please That's a that. lot of money for yeah. that. Please all right. That. Let's go on to season number two. Okay. Year two. Taglafico out the door. £10 million. Pound, yeah. Which a total of £19 million pound out the door. And you spent the 25. £34 yeah. million pound on top of that 25. So well, I knew I had an aging team, didn't I? Yes. So I was buying players this time around to make the squad stronger, mm -hmm. but younger. Yeah. I'm, I'm still planning for year four and five. Okay. Uh, so the first signing you actually brought in was Franco Gonzalez here that we can see, which is from Penarol. Wow. He's very good, isn't he? Yeah. He is very good in that centre attacking midfield role or centre mid. For the price you paid, that's a good that's a Only good pick years of age as well. Yeah, because if you think about it, he's already worth a little bit more. He has one or two good seasons. He gets a little bit better, and you're cashing in big time. Yeah. That's a very good sign, in it, and you know I'm going to enjoy this one because <laughs> yeah. it's Nelson Bloody Viper. Yeah, you do like a slayer, don't you? Very good player. My youth to gold hero. Yeah. He was exceptionally on that, and you got him for just 725k. Absolute bargain. Very good indeed. That's a great pick up there. On to the next. Oh, you sold Jeffinho there for £3 million as well, so that's another £3 million added to your transfer budget, and then you signed a another 34 million pounds worth so this deal was already a deal done before you joined it was a loan to buy yeah uh, which has obviously happened already Chiquinho came in from Benfica we all know that's a good sign in the first season for yeah, a freebie yeah I used quite a while in Benfica's uh, yeah. tonight so I knew he was good 29 million Scott McKenna as well as a free transfer good centre back option gets the crowd going so that's a nice one and Christian Kuame free transfer you can play on the wings or up front only 26 great pace Good finishing, yeah. good dribbling. Yeah, that's an easy one, isn't yeah. it, for you? Definitely. Yeah. Just got to pay a bit of wages. Then, I think you made a very smart move. <laughs> because you got rid of Anthony Lopez, which was your goalkeeper, uh, 33 years of age. He's a very good goalkeeper. Of course, yeah. you've also got in David De Gea. Yeah. But both of them are in their 30s. Lucas Perry isn't in his 30s, and it's £15 million. We know how much you want to buy goalkeepers all the bloody time. Yeah. It's your favourite thing to do, Lucas Perry. He's from Bucky Bogle. Yeah, good keeper, isn't he? Yeah, very good. Good price as well, £15.75 million. Pound. I've seen you get him cheaper before, yeah, but... and I've sold him for a lot of money as well. sold him for over £100 million. Pound, <laughs> yeah, so... It was an obvious reason why I was getting him in, because he just might go for that money again. Exactly. Santa Maria from Rennes is another one. £11 million for 12.5. That's a very good centre midfielder. 29, though, so he's on the higher end of it, um, where you said you were signing for to, to produce the youngsters, but he is a better just, player. At the same time, I was making my squad stronger, though. That's that yeah, was another reason why I was doing it. So French, a lot of 15s in there. Yeah, very experienced in this division. Played 26 games last year. Got four assists. So he's a good player. We have got Santiago Mele, free transfer that came halfway through. Two goalkeepers. <laughs> is De Gea still here? Yeah, I think he is. I yeah. think so. You got three goalkeepers now. Three <laughs> number ones. Jose Fontaine from Celta Vigo. That's a very good pickup. Yeah. They must have got relegated, I'd imagine. So uh, that's the reason why he costs so little. Because you got rid of Taglafico and you've brought in just as good, if yeah. not a little bit worse, Jose Fontaine. But the potential to get just as good in Jose Fontaine for half the price. Well, well less than half the price. You know, a minuscule cost, really. And he's already got two assists and a really good average rating, too. And then finally, 
This is a sign and I really like because not only does it weaken PSG without giving them too much yeah, money, right. yeah. it's an exceptionally good player. Yeah. In Renato Sanchez. All right, we've seen him in the Premier League. He wasn't that good. But everywhere he's gone outside of that, he's been great. Yeah. He kind of revived his career when he went to Lille in the French League. Then, of course, PSG signed him after Lille won the league with him. And then they got shipped out on loan last season. And you signed him for such a cheap cost of just £4 million. Pound. That's a good signing. Makes my midfield really strong now, I think. Yeah, he's really good. He's that yeah. pressing kind of midfielder. A lot of stamina. You know, he's really good as a ball winner. A break-up of play type of player. Okay. I'm really happy with that, Dad, as, as a uh, as a transfer window. Yeah. I think you spent your money really well. There was only, you know, a question or two on one of them, but can't argue too much. Tactically, so you've gone for a diamond with a wide midfielder. Yeah. I don't know why you've gone for the wide midfielder. I think I was just picking out my best players and making sure they were all playing, in, and it was quite hard, really. I mean, especially the top three. I wanted to make sure all three of them played. Yeah. So that's what I came up with. But them all free playing in that, so I think it was just a case of moving a couple of players around, but still trying to be attacking, I think, really. Okay, because the wide midfielder in Taliso is a natural in there. Yeah. He's really good in there. But, okay, I won't question your methods if it does really well. Diamonde and Kalit Kaleta Carr is still the centre-back option, so you've got solidifying that. Lucas Perry jumps into the in, in goal now. We've got David De Gea still here, unhappy to be transfer-listed. Dad's trying to ship him out. He's only on 21k. Uh, <laughs> nobody wants him for £6 million, pound, which is a shame because he's very good. But yeah, I mean, you've got a solid squad. Yeah. Definitely. It's getting better now. Yeah. Trekatista. Yeah, I don't get him in. Like, like you were saying, you've Never got Never seen you use that player, Rob. <laughs> no. For Ryan Cherky. If I had to get him into the team, so... Yeah, he's very good. Yeah. He's going to be your best player, so you need to give him game time because his value got to 83 million. Yeah. You know, in the couple of seasons' time, you want to be cashing in on that and then you can spend big because you're not going to get much money out of players like Lacazette, unfortunately. No. He's got one or two seasons left. How have you done at the start of the season? Not bad. Just a one loss to, to lose. Yeah, I was disappointed with that, really. But a big win there against Monaco with Golovin scoring two goals against you, but you yeah. still beat them 4-2. San Etienne, 3-0 against them. Clermont Foot, 4-2. Uh, Europa League games. Let's have a look. Who have you got in Europa League? CSK Sofia, Chelsea dropping into there. Yeah. Lazio, Bodo Glimt. You should go for it. Yeah. Should go for yeah. it. I'd like to think you could actually go through in the top eight as well. Yeah. I think the Chelsea game, probably you would lose because it's at Stamford Bridge, but you stand a hell of a chance to beat Lazio at home. So I think outside of that, you should be able to win the majority of those games, maybe drop points against Fenerbahce. You should still go for yeah. it. All right, let's find out. Let's simulate the second season and see how Dad's second season plays out. Will Nice win the league again or will PSG bite back? Let's find out. Okay, fourth place. They didn't win again. It's cut it again. <laughs> what is happening to oh, PSG? This is mental. Uh, nice dropped down to third place, but PSG still can't win the league because Marseille this time come out of yeah. nowhere. You picked the wrong team. Yeah, I did, yeah. <laughs> who, did, who did PSG lose against? Their three games against? Was it me again? Three games. They didn't lose no, to they you this time. this time. They didn't. What about Marseille then? Did they lose against me? Seen as the champions. Yeah, they did. 4-0 oh, you beat them. Give them an hammer in there. Yeah, you did. Uh, they also drew to PSG. So they only drew one game all season. You only drew two, but you lost 12. I know. I've done the opposite this time, didn't I? Wow. I drew, was it, Emily? 11, 11 last season? 11 games last season. This time I didn't draw already any, but I'd lost 12 games. 12 games. That's yeah. mental, really. But yeah, you still finished fourth place. 62 points. It's, you know, it's decent. Champions League. I think Leon fans would be happy with that. I'm, looking I'm, at where I'm they still are happy right now. because I'm still in the Champions League. Yeah. I mean, I'm 20 points off the top of the league, so I was a long way out of it. Yeah. But How yeah. Is Marseille doing that? That is mental. I mean, they got flicking, so yeah, he's, yeah. he's a good manager on this game. PSG. Maurizio Sarri now because they've probably binned off Luis Enrique yeah. yeah he got sacked last season I'm shocked that Sarri hasn't been sacked if yeah. I'm honest the only thing that I think would keep him around is if they managed to win something and I think they won the Coupe de France dad because you were knocked out in the Coupe de France at the semi-final by PSG and your Europa League round of 16 yeah. by Fenerbahce I needed to beat PSG then I was yeah sick. so they beat Metz in the final 3-0 and that's what kept Sarri's job if I'd won that game I think I'd have been favoured to win that game yeah Definitely. Yeah. That's a shame. Round of 16 against Fenerbahce. 2 1 on aggregate mm -hmm. there. Knockout playoff round? No. So he did qualify through yeah. the top eight. Did exactly Six. how I predicted. Didn't lose a game. Drew three. Drew to Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. Good result. And Fenerbahce, which I said, could yeah. be the one you drop points against there. The away draw to Bodo Glimt and five home wins, defeating Lazio 3 1. Conceded always, in every single one, though. I always say, I don't know, if you win your own games, you yep. stand a chance of going for it. I was uh, pleased with that. That's a good season, though. Yeah. 
considering where you where they were. No goal scorers or anything. 30 goals for Christian Kwame. That's a high amount. But Ryan Cherky, I'd say, is your MVP. Yeah. I mean, actually, Kwame's got the highest average rating, but Ryan Cherky with the most uh, goals and assist, if you consider both of them. Oh, like I said, did get 17 goals, but he's playing an attacking midfielder role. Yeah. He is also unhappy, wants to move to a, a club with a stronger squad. Well... If somebody comes in with £91 million, yeah. I bet my dad would accept it. My friend Nelson Viper got 10 <laughs> goals off the bench in only nine starts. And already we can see a little bit of growth there. You're starting to pick up on things, I think, which, yeah. which I started doing in good rebuilds. You find these youngsters who don't mind being squad players coming off the bench to progressively get better and better. And that's what you've done there with Nelson Viper. And Franco Gonzalez, who's done exactly the same. You're building players for when they want to leave, yeah. for when the, the other players want to leave. You got ready made replacements in. Uh, the Rato Sanchez deal was a good one, I think. 26 games he played, three goals, three assists, good average rating, so that was decent too. Transfer budget for next season 32 million again. Yeah, so they were supporting me. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Okay, season number three. Let's see what you do with it. Okay, £13 million on the outs, Dad. A few transfers going out there, including David De Gea for £6.25 million. He wanted Robertis. to go, so I thought that was a good price. And I got him for three. Exactly. Yeah. Speaking of free, your first sign in, Barbosa. Yeah. I wanted to get a couple of good goal stroke triggers in until uh, I got this guy because he is just frightening, I think. Get well, him he's in one there, of your favourites, isn't he? Yeah, he is, yeah. He's dropped off a little bit. Has yeah, he yeah. got a season without playing there by the looks of it? Yeah. It does look like it. I think at the end of his contract, which was in December, he hasn't played since then. No. Which means... Obviously, his attributes have dropped off. But he's fresh. But, yeah, he has scored a few goals for you yeah. at the start of the season. Elmas as well. Yeah. From Napoli. On a freebie as well. Great attack midfielder. Only 25 years yeah. of age. Oh, Very such good. a good signing. Yeah. Uh, Carl Walker-Peters. Feels on both sides. That's good. Good squad player for myself. But yeah. yeah he, it, it just, he's so, so good in the half. Yeah. freebie as well. Oliveira from Napoli. Yeah. Good signing. £13 million, two assists already. Young 27-year-old still. So for the rest of the rebuild, that'll so be I got him on one side and Carl, Carl Walker-Peters on the other side. But if he gets injured, Carl Walker's going to score the other side, doesn't he? Yeah. Sebastian Vegas from Monterey. £13 million centre-back. My only worry <laughs> with Sebastian Vegas yeah. is he gets four whenever possible. Yeah. As a centre-back. <laughs> uh, that's one thing that I always like. Oh, God, that's annoying. But, okay. Good signing. And then Ivan Tony. So he's, he's, never, he's, from now. he's another guy that I always sort of go to, especially because you can, sometimes you can pick him up on free transfers, can you? Yeah. I mean, finishing 16, first touch 16, and, he, and he's quick. That's two good strikers I've got in there now. Two level strikers, I think. So Five, five goals in three games. Yeah. Aspilicueta, yeah. 1.1 million, 36 years of age, Dad. But I, I just think he might not be starting, but he's there if I need him. Okay. And then Carlos Soler, a bit of a Spanish link going on here. There's yeah. a lot of Spaniards coming in. Never... Uh, PSG player that I was making them it a little is. bit weaker so he's, he's a, a good, good player, player really I thought it was he's a good, good price player. for him 17 million pound hasn't played for the last few seasons is my only concern but he's got a goal and assist and a player of the match so yeah. far so he started off well really for me not bad change tactic yep yes you have gone to a 4-3-1-2 we've got an advanced playmaker but only one of them <laughs> usually you stick at about 11 of them yep now one oh, I'm a little bit oh what's going on here Two ball players on cover. <laughs> so they're both covering. Yeah. Don't normally have that. Well, if one but... goes with the ball, the other one just covers him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I looked at my left back and right back. We're absolutely solid now. So then I'll concentrate on my midfield. I've, I think I've made my midfield so much stronger. Yeah. I'm thinking about going for it now, see? All right. I've got a good enough squad now, I think. We're always thinking about three, four, five seasons. I'm thinking I'm going to go with it now. So Ryan Cherkey no longer wants to leave, which suggests that you've strengthened the side to his desire. Yeah. Because that was the reason why he wanted to leave. That's he right, wanted to yeah. play a stronger squad. Yeah. You now give him the stronger squad. Um, and yeah, he must be happy with that. Yeah. No supporting roles other than Ivan Tony up front. We'll see how this one goes, shall we? Schedule. Great start. Should be with that team. Yeah. I mean, you're out of the Champions League. Yeah, I was cut in with that. Well, I Seven got three loss. Really? Yeah, got absolutely stuffed when you went to Eindhoven. Yeah. But in I'm the an, league... I beat him in the, the first, the first yeah, leg, 1-0. One one so, I, I mean, all right, it was at home, and I thought, is that enough? And obviously it wasn't. No. Great win against Nantes to begin with, 5-0. Beat the former champions, 2-1. Great start. Monaco, 2-1 again. And then the Cup Coupe de France finalists, Mets, stuff them, 6-1 yeah. away from home. So it's a good start, really, in the league, I think. Yeah, uh, which actually sees you go top of the league right yeah. now with the current champions, 
Marseille. Okay, you're in the Europa League. Let's have a look at your fixtures then for this season. Pauk, Real Betis, Lugano. That's the Romanian team. Craiova, Ludogorets, Lille, Trabzonsport, Stuttgart should go through. Uh, 100%. Should go I'd through. I'd be so disappointed about that. Okay, I want to see you push for that top three now. Yeah. That's where I that's think what you need for, to be. Yeah. That's, where, that's how good that team is. Yeah. Let's see and simulate how it gets on. Season number three, fourth place, Dad, on the same points as Nice. Yeah. But once again, Marseille win the league. Yeah, well, they, one only, loss. they only lost one game, though, so you could look to them in it, really. Against Lons. Yeah. This is, I've never seen this happen. <laughs> I'm watching and I'm thinking, oh my God, come on. I'm going to do PSG lose happen. their four games too. Lost four games, Marseille, Strasbourg, Paris, Nantes. They lost to Paris. Yeah, that was a big one. At it? home yeah. as well. Quite mind-blowing really how this has actually happened. And you lost eight games in total. Drew too many again. Drew too many games, seven games drawn, 64 points. Just that one point away from going above Nice. Yeah. Because uh, the goal difference wasn't quite a lot. They had a way better uh, defence than what you did because you conceded 57 in total yeah. which you know it's all the way down to 7th um, and even below that teams were conceding less well, than what you were the good thing is I'm staying in the European Champions you know, the Champions League so I'm staying into that yeah it's just that I just can't get past that that one moment, position I... further yeah. would automatically qualify you yeah. instead of having to go through qualifiers uh, which obviously has bumped you down into Europa League next year Vitinha is mainly the reason why Marseille are winning this I think because he's incredible on this game yeah. very good striker Carl Walker-Peters is up there with the most assists or second highest assists there still can't get over PSG not winning it much at all who won the Coupe de France oh Runners up in the Europa League. Got it, mate. Absolutely good. When I thought I got there, I thought I'd get a cup in. AC Milan. Yeah. Wow. All right. Let's have a look at this then. So into the league phase you went. Finished in the top five or top eight. Sorry. Uh, only losing to Lille and Real Betis. You drew against Stuttgart. Won five games. All the games you should be winning, and you were scoring a lot of goals. Yeah. From that, you went into the round of 16, where you knocked out Montpellier, another French team, 6-3 on aggregate, quite comfortably. Quarter-finals, knocking out Rangers, 6-3 again. Semi-final, Olympiacos, 6-2 this time, even more comfortably. So I'm, I'm banging in the goals for fun. Yeah, Milan knocking out Newcastle, 7-0. 7-0, they were, they were scoring for Jesus. fun as well. Yeah, they, they so were enjoying themselves. You can see what was it, five goals in the final. You can see why it was a case of who was going to score the most. Yeah. How tight was it oh yeah you were two Too late goals they scored two nil up you were yeah Rafael Leao 82nd Kirku with a 91st yeah absolutely got it that is absolutely heartbreaking all right quarterfinals of the Coupe de France one by PSG they're facing a team from the third division in the final unbelievable <laughs> who the hell are these these knocking them out Nantes quarter final they knocked out Lille they deserve to get to the final I mean fair play I've never heard of this team no either this guy Luca Elsner is a genius and playing four or five attacking advanced playmakers probably yeah <laughs> <laughs> or I don't know what's happening because their key player is this guy and he's okay actually he's not bad but yeah they're in the third division and they only finished sixth in that division as well that is mental uh, you were knocked out 1-0 by Nice in that round okay so it's a good season but I'm disappointed season yeah Ivan Tony got 25 Barbosa really dropped off if I'm honest yeah. ability wise look you can see uh, down to 22 goals kind of losing it a little bit and he's unhappy unfairly treated by his manager 19 <laughs> goals from Kwame he got the European final mate <laughs> <laughs> 18 by Soler. Ryan Cherky had a good season but he's asking for a new contract he wants I never get that one wants to leave no, ask him to leave because he wants a new contract. Yeah. I never understand that. Uh, if you want a new contract, why don't you just say, I want a new contract? Yeah, yeah, instead of asking to leave. Yeah. But there we go. Uh, Nelson Viper, not played that much this season, Dad. No. Because of the uh, the players coming in, but he is getting better. That's a shame. Transfer budget, going into the fourth season. 15 million. They're consistent. They're supporting me, though. Yeah. I was pleased with that. Right. Let's see you bring in. Very interesting summer, Dad. Yeah. Uh, somebody went to Saudi Arabia and picked up some freebies. Well, they usually come to us and give us all the money, so I've gone back to them, but not giving them any money. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you sold Kakaret, which I was surprised with. He's one of my favourite players for Leon. Yeah. Like, you didn't get any more than 7.25 million. Yeah, I know. I, I'm a bit disappointed with that, but um, it's the way it goes. I think I was getting some good players in our really making this strong, a lot stronger now. All right, so you got Mitrovic coming in. Yeah. One of your favourite strikers. Yeah. 31 years of age now, but still really good on this game. Octavio, great centre attacking midfielder. Yeah. Ryan Cherky's position, though, possibly. Yeah. That's the trouble. And then Luis Felipe, the centre-back. 
good signing. So you got one for each position, really. Yeah. Which is usually what you like to do for loans, but yeah. you did it for three transfers I mean, his, instead. His physicals are absolutely amazing. Yeah, he's quick, isn't he? very yeah. quick. Good with both feet too. Yeah. Uh, so not bad for him. But I really like this signing: twenty million pound, Chadi Riyad, yeah. twenty-three years old, Moroccan centre back, and he's very good indeed. Yeah, he's very quick. He's From Barcelona, deep. good pace, good actual fitness, good jump and reach, tries to play a way out of trouble. The twenty million pound from Barcelona, even though he hasn't really played a game for them. I understand why you've done it because he could be a starting centre back for you. That's going to last yeah. for the rest of the rebuild and beyond. Mateo Kovacic. Yeah, I know he's a little bit older than what I was trying to sign, but I just thought, well, never play and just come in and make that midfield absolutely solid. Okay, speaking of that midfield, what's it looking like? You've changed it. So you've gone for a two in midfield, four triple two. Any reason for it? I'm trying to make myself a little bit better. So I've got two wingers and a two strikers in there now, and I've got two good defensive midfielders in there. Right, advanced playmaker on attack. Yeah. It's back. It's back. Yeah, but I've got a ball winning midfielder in, in defence now. So at yeah. least I was, you know, backing it up to the thing, really. Support so got, on the, the right there, defence yeah. on the left. We've yeah. got two wingers, which is good because you've got two target forward type of players yeah. who like the ball in the air. Yeah. So getting them on attack. I mean, the one that let me down last season was Bob Olsen, so yeah. I got Mitrovic. You have improved, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's a shame for players like Elmas because he was very good for you last yeah. season. But, but they're still in the squad, so they yeah, still play. Yeah, still there. Yeah. Schedule then, how has it been going? Not bad. No. You got your revenge over PSV. Yeah. So that's good. That's a good start. Yeah, you lost, out. though, to Strasbourg in the first game of the season. Yeah. Knocked out by Sporting eventually in that Champions League playoff. Yeah. You need to finish in that top three. Didn't I you? know. Beat the champions, though. Yeah. Who only lost one last season. Yeah, so they've already lost one already this season. Bordeaux 2 0, Lons 3 0, Le Havre 3 0. Other than that, one game against Strasbourg. It's a great start in the league. Yeah, I was pleased with that. Place already. Into Europa League again. Third time a, a, a go at the Europa League. Let's yeah. see how you can do it this time. <laughs> Third time's charm. Valencia, Copenhagen, Roma. Brentford are in there. Yeah. Oh, well done, Brentford. There's a couple of our teams in there, but I'd still be confident that I can go through. Yeah. With the team that I've got now, I should go through. Yeah, you should go through the top eight. Yeah. I want to see you get into that top three of uh, of the league. Though. Yeah. Season four. So this is going to be the first season PSG managed to well, win the, the league. I did say from the from the start, didn't I, that the season four was going to be my season. I was building for that season. To target it. So okay. um, I felt that I had a really good team last season. Got into the into the Europa League final. So I've got the, the team and I've improved it a little bit. So I... I'm, I be disappointed if I don't get in the top two now. Okay, let's see how it goes. Season four. Definitely not top two, Dad. Absolutely got it. Out of Europe as well from my last season. That's shocking. Tell me about it. I don't know how close I was being from being sacked, but I could have been. 58 points. So Monaco also finished on 58. PSG finally won the league. Eventually. PSG, yeah, on 84. They lost two games in total. Uh, not to you. You drew... Seven games, but you lost ten. That yeah. was your trouble. You lost way too many games yeah. against silly teams as well. The yeah. Rings, the Rens, the Paris FC. Those are the games you should be winning. Considering obviously Rings, there, Paris FCs relegated. Yeah. Oh, that's a big drop off. And Ivan Tony was the top goal scorer yeah. too. So wow, I, I, I got me strikers thinking performing, but I conceded too many goals. Okay, how did you get on in Europa League? We know you didn't win it because it you would it would have said you qualified yeah. for the Champions League. And what about the Coupe de France? Did you get any? Any further in that? No, 11th round by Marseille. And Brentford knocked you out the quarterfinals. Yeah. Brentford went on and Celtic beat Brentford in the final. That's what we got it. That was a chance for me to win it, I think. That was a big chance because yeah. you would have faced Lons. Yeah. <laughs> who you know you know way too well. Uh Shaq Day you defeated in the round of 16. Knockout playoff round you didn't play in, which meant you went through in the top eight in fifth place, losing two to Strong Gratz and Brentford, Brentford again. again. Yeah. Drawing to Valencia, but winning five games without conceding a single goal. Yeah. You made home a fortress in the Europa League for the while, but it seemed to cost you in the long run. Yeah. Marseille knocked you out in the 11th round, so you didn't get very far in this competition at all. Okay, that's that's disappointing bad, season. Bad, bad season. That was a failure for me, I think. Yeah. That was the season I was really thinking I was going to go for it, and I failed. Especially with the, the players that you brought in. Yeah. 38 for Ivan Tony, 16 for Mitrovic, 15 for Kwame. 12 for Soler, 15 for Ryan Cherky. Still knocking about. He is wanted. 77 million. You won't be surprised. Barcelona want Mitrovic. I won't be surprised if we see a bit of an overhaul here. We'll have to find out, shall we? Because you have 8 million in the transfer budget. Well, I failed, didn't I? So they, it, it's, you know, 
the board have responded by that. You failed. So you're only getting eight million this time. Yeah. They're not. I'm not in Europe next year, so I'm not guaranteed that amount of money. No, not at all. So that was that was the reason why they wouldn't back me. All right. Well, so. let's see what you can do with it, because I think I might see some players on the outs here, <laughs> as I predicted. <laughs> a lot of players left. Uh, let's take our eyes down the bottom corner here because 2027 is the year we're in. These players left very early after yeah. we last let, last spoke. Kwame, £33 million pound to Lons. That was a big transfer for a 29-year-old. £5 million for Vargas. Barbosa left for £12 million. Not bad because you, know, you picked him up on a free and yeah. barely used him. Gonzalez for one5 Mele for 2.5. But it doesn't stop there. If you go to the next page... Another 112 million pounds. 86 million of it was Ryan Cherky. He wanted to go. I didn't want to sell him. And I had problems with the rest of the squad all coming up. Emails coming to me. He's not very happy. He's not very happy for the reason, I'm, the way I'm treating him. Yeah. So the, nearly the whole squad were giving me emails to say they're not happy with the way I'm treating him because I wouldn't let him go. So I thought, right, bugger you then. I'll let you go. And then Milan came up with silly money, ready six million. I thought, there you go, you're going, you're yeah. gone. Jose Fontaine also left for 17 billion pounds, the left back, which you also brought in for a really cheap cost as yeah. well. So good bit of business, and you spent 137 million, and that's without free transfers because yeah. you got Mateus Cunha coming in. That's a great deal yeah. from Wolves. I mean, already that replaces Ryan Cherky if you were to play a number 10 because yeah. he's incredible in the shadow striker role. Yeah. That's the role I'd be using him in because he comes deep to get ball, but. He's really good going forward. That's his perfect role, in my opinion. Rodri Banez got back to Saudi, got himself a free transfer. Again, another centre-back from Saudi. Rodri Banez joins the club. 30 million on Nathan Ake, though, who's 32. Just really trying to strengthen my team up, really. You know, the defence, I, I conceded too many goals last game, last season. I lost too many games. I had to strengthen it up. I bet they couldn't believe their luck when you offered them 30 million. <laughs> Vladan Kovacevic, that's a goalkeeper if I've ever seen one. It is. He's a good one too, though. Yeah. He's a good goalkeeper. Jamal Lewis. It's a lot of money for Jamal Lewis, Dad. Yeah. As a left back. He's quick. <laughs> the next one worries me. But to be honest, more. though, I'm, I'm strengthening the squad up. Because don't forget, I lost a lot of players as well. Yeah. Gabriel Sara, 40 million. I think this is a bit of, I know the player and I know he's good. I know what he can do in this league. Yeah. So I, 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 mean, he is good. I went for him, yeah. He is, he is good. a good player. And I've used him at Norwich. Well, I had him at Norwich and I thought he was a very good player. Yeah. He's by far my best player at Norwich. He got Norwich into the Premier League for two seasons. Yeah. Dropped back down into the Championship for one and then you signed him. So 40 million pounds. It's a lot of money. But two goals he's got for you already in two games. And then Dwight McNeil. 45 million I mean it's a good signing to be fair he is, he's a good player yeah got one assist so far he's one of those players yes I'm saying it's a lot of money if you get him in the right role he's incredible yeah because he's got great attributes in the right in the right places because crossing the ball and passing the ball He's amazing. Yeah. If you get the best out of him that way, you're laughing. Mark Gay from Arsenal. He's on loan at Arsenal. Well, on loan from Arsenal, who signed for £8.75 million. Pound. We used him in the race to the Prem, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we did, yeah. So, check that out. That will be at the end of this episode because the full series has now come out. Not to mention, we are, of course, starting the new series very soon, Glory Hunter. If you enjoy the rebuilds or you enjoy the versus rebuilds, you need to be checking out Race to the Prem. It's the best thing we've ever recorded. Yeah, by, by a mile yeah. so make sure you watch that compilation the full series is out now I'll leave it at the end of the video and we're starting Glory Hunter which hopefully will be even better Yeah. Uh, so that is going to be very interesting if you've ever watched my Glory Hunter series it's going to be exactly the same as that but me and dad at the same time <laughs> it's going to be hilarious and then finally Nuan Neri is coming in as well on loan that's a good loan signing yeah. you're paying a little bit of money though 115 grand a month which isn't too bad in the grand scheme of things some big signings I there think it was a good transfer window yeah, um, yeah. you had to, to do something yeah, Ryan Cherky I lost a lot of players I? yeah so tactically I knew you would change it 4-4-2 four, four, not bad okay we've got an advanced playmaker on the right wide playmaker in McNeil so you're quite good at that role to be fair the centre midfield on attack, one of my favourite roles there. Cunha in the advanced forward role. So if I went best 11 pick, yeah, you got a cover in Nathan Ake, which yeah. is quite interesting. Ivan Tony drops to the bench. Yeah, I'm surprised with that. Mm. My only thing with this is you've got two players you want to drop. Yeah. Because Cunha likes to come deep to get ball. Mitrovic is on a roll which tells him to come deep to get ball. So there's nobody going in behind. Yeah. That would be my only worry with this. But we'll see how it goes. It's on a balanced mentality. Passing into space. Uh, Gagan pressing. Stepping up more. Okay, mixed crosses. We'll see how this one goes then. Let's have a look at the schedule and see how it performs so far. Good start. Yeah. Only dropping points 
to PSG four, four, after a 90 second minute yeah. which would have been their winner but Ivan Tony scored in the 93rd yeah. <laughs> uh, you scored in the first minute what a game that is because yeah. by the 8th minute it's 2-2 two, two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's unbelievable I mean, and then, Warren, and then we go to the last Emery. couple of minutes and score two goals again yeah I mean, this guy's incredible he looks amazing I and mean, they've already got Rooney Baji which is one of the best wingers on the game so that's so really I'm, I'm, I'm really pleased with that start a draw against PSG four each yeah you know you take that any the time, rest of them wins yeah gotta be happy with that no European football to distract no. you this could be the biggest year that you've got yeah. concentrate on the, on the league and go for the cup as well so yeah I could, I could do it this season bit of silverware we're yeah. so close to that Europa League yeah. we need a bit of silverware let's find out fifth and final season see how that does Oh, close second place and you were top for a while yeah. as well so I got there I took him on yeah just just lost it very I good was, effort I must admit I was pleased with that I mean, six, it, you look at it and you think six points is a lot but it was close when you when you look at it I was top for a couple of times as well yeah if you so, look at last season 84 won it wasn't yeah. there a season where it was less than that 82 which is what you got yeah so two seasons in a row it was one on 82 which is exactly what you got. Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's very unfortunate. Who did they lose their games against PSG? They lost one to you, so they didn't beat you. No, lost and drew. Yeah, and the other one was to Marseille, which you also lost to as well. Yeah. Silly losses. Oh, so disappointed when I've seen the teams I lost against. Yeah, I mean, Lons is quite I didn't just lose. I, I got hammered as well. 3-1, yeah. 4-1, so... Uh, okay, not bad. Mateus Cunha got 21 goals. Not a lot of goals. I think that's the one thing I've noticed yeah. from this. You haven't had, a, like, a, a top goal scorer of no. the league, so that's a shame. Cup competition. Coupe de France. France, the final chance to get some silverware. Tenth round. Awful. Tenth round, unfortunately. But you got your goal of yeah. getting second place. Champions League football again for Leon. So if anybody was to take this on, on the Patreon or on the channel memberships, you can do on the £5 tier, as well as you get the podcast as well, which we release every single week. What would be the target that you would suggest for the next five years with oh. £4 million? It was, it's always going to be a small one because I've never had a European football yeah. but obviously this season I have. I think I've got a good enough squad now to take PSG on. It just yeah. proved that. They didn't beat me. No. I'm only six points behind them. I lost against some silly games. You could come up with a better tactic than me and then actually take them on. Yeah. And that's what I think you could do. I agree. Yeah. I mean, I think, personally, I think if you took that on, you'd be taking PSG on. Yeah. Seriously, because you'd come up with a tactic that would really be on that. Because you know the players inside out. There's a couple of players there you were just saying, you should have played this, like my two, my front two. I should have had them the opposite way around, really. Yeah, Because yeah. of the way you were just saying, explain it. And that's things I'm still learning. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know, it's a lot so, to take. It, yeah. You know, people take for granted football manager and, and how oh, it's easy after a while. There's loads of little things that don't oh, make it easy, yeah. especially in rebuilds yeah. when we're doing this. It's all right when you're doing one save and you get to know those players so well but when you're doing so many different saves like you are as your first experience of playing the pro like the full game of foot manager because you've played foot manager in the past yeah but it's never been the full version no it's always been the touch version yeah, that's which, right, yeah. you know it's still good but yeah. never as in depth as this no so you're still learning this was one of your first ones that you've done i think you've done a really good job there you're I'm, all I'm pleased final. I, I, I got to where i wanted to get and yeah. i was taking psg on and i think i've got a squad that's good enough to take them on and i'm and i'm nearly done on the last season yeah but like you said, I'm still learning and there's a few things when you look at the, the way players play now, that's something else I've got to learn now. Yeah. That's my next sort of thing I've got to take in, in information in as well as, you know, the loans that I'm still learning as well. But yeah. I think I'm getting better at that as well. But All right. I'm going to set you a challenge. Oh, here we go. <laughs> no, no, no. See if you fancy this. I will do a season six, but let's see how you also do in a season six. Oh, that's, in that's interesting. And yeah. we'll go head to head in a season six. Who does better with this Leon side? Ooh. Only got four million pounds with a bit of a wage budget. You know, that's quite a big yeah. wage budget. Yeah, yeah. But we'll go head to head, season number six. All right. And then, then, Patreon members, channel members, when that video comes out, you already had the save game file. Have a go yourself. See how you do in a season number six with this Leon side in one season and see if you can compare against us and then in the season six video which will come out either the week of or the week after this video comes out let us know in the comment section how you do in this save i'll be very interested to see because i think that's quite a good challenge this is yeah, a very is, yeah. good starting point for a season six yeah 
All right, challenge accepted. We'll be seeing that one very soon. Thank you very much for watching. Really do appreciate it. Thank you to all the Patreon members. Make sure you're subscribing. We don't get enough people pressing that subscribe button. It's free, of course. Yeah, free. Uh, and yeah, you just help us grow as a channel. Just looks bad, doesn't it? So thank you very much. Make sure you check it out. The Race to the Prem series. And of course, the Glory Hunter when that drops very, very soon. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.